So you want to watch the 1962 film King Kong vs. Godzilla? Well, don't worry, kid. I'm going to catch you up to speed on every streaming service and how to watch exactly what you want to watch. Netflix. I am subscribed to Netflix because it was a better deal than Blockbuster 24 years ago. For $15 a month, you get Sausage Party, The Pope's Exorcist, Young Sheldon, Old Dads, Bad Moms, Bad Boys, Bad Lieutenant, Bad Santa, Bad Teacher, Bad Tutor, Bad Surgeon, Bad Vegan, Bad Grandpa, Dirty Grandpa, Stupid Boss, Ugly Betty, and Stinky Walter. You get Equalizer 3, Kung Fu Panda 3, and Croods 1, but Equalizer 1 and Croods 2 are only on Peacock. Equalizer 2 is on Hulu, and Kung Fu Panda 1 is on Vix. You get Gray Man, but not Rain Man. So you get the new Spider-Man, but not the first one, which is on Fubo TV. Since Disney owns Marvel, they don't have either. But you can watch the new old Spider-Mans, and the old new Spider-Mans, and the old old Spider-Mans, except for the newest old Spider-Man, which is only on Stars, which is $10 a month. With Stars, you also get John Wick 4, but not the first three, which have just been added to Netflix. However, Stars does offer you the movie Hitman, which is similar, because both characters are assassins. The sequel, Hitman Agent 47, is on HBO Max for $20 a month. Or check out David Fincher's new movie, The Killer, on Netflix which is like watching somebody play the game Hitman. But what if you don't like Hitmans? What if you want to watch Django? Well, I wish you never asked me that, because Netflix has the new Django show, and they have Django and Django, but they don't have Django or Django, which is coming soon to stars. A few dollars for Django can be rented on Amazon for a few dollars. Django Shoots First is on Plex. Return of Django is available on Tubi, and Hallelujah for Django is on Roku. If you love trolls like Leah, Netflix has Trolls Holiday, but not Trolls Holiday in Harmony, which is on Hulu. If you love the first half of Titanic, that's on Crackle, but then you gotta switch over to Voodoo to watch the rest of the movie. Paramount Plus, we had to get to watch Nathan Fielder's new show. Tubi is gonna hook you up with the Fred Trilogy, which is huge. AMC Plus is Halloween 5. MGM Plus is Halloween H2O. If you love the movie Gone Girl, Lifetime Movie Club has a different movie called Gone Mom. They have a lot of mom-type movies on there. Discovery Plus has seasons 1 and 3 of Mythbusters. Discovery Go has season 7 and 12. Crunchyroll has two episodes of Mythbusters and season 14 of Speed Racer for Banania. You'll have to support Subscribe to Funimation now. Dove Channel is for doggy movies. BritBox has the first 12 minutes of every episode of Diamond Geezer. For Pokemon, there is a website that tells you how to watch this. You start off on Netflix, then swap over to the Pokemon streaming service, which is the only place that has season 2, then swap over to Prime Video for seasons 3 through 5. Swap to Freebie, then Hoopla. Season 13 is only on Amazon though. Then swap to Tubi, then Hulu, then Roku Channel, and then finally, back to the Pokemon stream and then Netflix. Easy. Now let's talk content trades. As you know, streaming services only have a temporary license for most of the media they're allowed to stream. This allows competing services to acquire the rights for their library, unless it's original content they produce, like the show Willow, which was deleted entirely. Next week, Netflix is trading old dads to ABC iView for Daddy Day Camp. Halloween 5 is switching over to Slice, who is selling John Wick Chapter 3 to Jim so that they can afford the rights for Equalizer 2. Good news for hockey fans, though, this month, Roger NHL Live is finally getting Indiana Jones 4 and 5, but sadly, Fetch users will be losing access to the original Puss in Boots movie. Acorn TV is trading Sing 2 to TCM Plus Go, but only if they promise to give Rush Hour 3 to Blaze TV Plus so that they will give Rocky 4 to movie so that they will give Acorn TV Fast 5. By using my simple guide, you now understand how to watch every show and movie, except for King Kong vs. Godzilla, because I forgot. HBO Go, which has been rebranded to HBO Now, then HBO Max, and then and Max, they have the movie Godzilla vs. Kong, which is a different movie, but thankfully they also have every Godzilla movie produced from 1954 to 1975. Except for King Kong vs. Godzilla, which is not on any streaming services. You have to buy the Blu-ray to watch it.